Remember all we learned? Remember how you picked your oak skull? On your test, look for text features like headings, underlined words, or words in bold. Highlight or underline the title. Read the purpose at the top. Is the purpose to persuade, inform, or entertain your socks? Number the paragraphs 1, 2, 3, 4. If you use pink, queen, red, ace, your brain won't be sore. First, preview for pictures, captions, and charts. Read the questions before the passage if you're smart. Next, you read the article, thinking of each paragraph's main idea as you read. Finally, answer the questions only when you find the evidence that you need. Also, eliminate wrong answers that you know doesn't make sense. Look for synonyms linking the question and one of the answers if you're on the fence. Story elements like plot, character, conflict, theme, setting, yes, these are the five things that you're going to be needing when you're reading a short selection that's not exciting or boring. Use context clues for vocabulary questions where you choose a synonym or antonym of the underlying word that's used. Read it four times with the different answer choices and you won't lose. Proverbs are well-known sayings that give great advice. They can be morals to a myth or story like always be nice. Idioms are figures of speech not to be taken seriously or literally. Think hard about each. Your oaks will be a piece of cake if you think hard for a while. If you exceed, it'll prove you went the extra mile. Lastly, don't forget the figurative language graph. Sometimes what you mean is not exactly what you say. That's figurative language using words in different ways. Personification, alliteration, accident, hyperbole, onomatopoeia, metaphor, and simile. Do your best to rock the test. Use your smart pills to show you're a test-taking fighter. Out of the tiger!